The former Jedi Master Count Dooku is the primary villain of Attack of the Clones. Little is known about his life prior to the Clone Wars in canon, but today I'm going to go over everything we can say for sure, and then go over his legend's history as well. Dooku was part of a noble house on Sereno, but he gave up his title and wealth to join the Jedi Order as Yoda's Padawan. He achieved the rank of Jedi Master and trained Qui-Gon Jinn. At some point, he provided aid to Mother Talzin and the Knight Sisters, and for some reason he gave her a lock of his hair. Even before Qui-Gon's death, Dooku had grown disillusioned with the Jedi, the Senate, and the Republic as a whole. He left the Order becoming one of the Lost Twenty, and he reclaimed his title of Count of Sereno. It was at this point that he was approached by Darth Sidious, and he agreed to become his Sith Apprentice. He arranged the death of Jedi Master sifo who had commissioned the Clone Army. He also recruited Jango Fett to become the template for said army. During those eight years, he remained quiet and hidden from public life, but he reappeared as the public face of the Separatist movement. He rallied systems to secede from the Republic, and the Clone Wars began shortly after. The Legends version of his story is very similar, it just provides us with more details. As a youngling, Dooku already had an interest in politics and studied diplomacy in special classes. He trained under Master Yoda, but also had another formal master named Thame Cerulean. Yoda instructed Dooku in the art of lightsaber combat and provided the foundation for him to become an accomplished duelist. He became a Jedi Knight in his early 20s and took Qui-Gon as his first Padawan, even though they were only 10 years apart in age. Dooku had already developed strong feelings about the corruption he saw plaguing the Galactic Republic and was very outspoken about them. His views held great influence over Qui-Gon, who followed Dooku's teachings more so than the teachings of the Jedi Council. When Jin was granted the rank of Jedi Knight, Dooku was granted the rank of Jedi Master. He even occasionally held a seat on the Jedi Council. One of his final missions with the Jedi Order was a deadly skirmish on Galadron. The Jedi were manipulated into attacking Jango Fett and the true Mandalorians as they were in the middle of a fight with the Mandalorian splinter group Death Watch. Both sides saw massive losses. Eleven Jedi were killed, six of them by Fett's own hands. Dooku remained with the Jedi for twelve more years despite the fact that he knew the Senate was corrupt and the Council was fallible. During that time, he refused to accept any more missions and instead sought to bring about positive changes. The death of Qui-Gon Jinn appeared to be the final straw, and he withdrew from the Order shortly after. By that point, the public personas of Darth Sidious and Darth Plagueis had already been planting seeds in Dooku for about 20 years. With Maul and Plagueis dead, Sidious approached Dooku to serve as his apprentice until Anakin Skywalker was of age. The Count realized that he and the Sith shared similar goals, and decided to join them after 70 years of following the teachings of the Jedi. He again arranged the murder of his old friend sifo and hired the bounty hunter Jango Fett to serve as the template for the clone army, having witnessed the Mandalorian skills against the Jedi firsthand. There isn't much to compare between canon and legend stories, because like I said, the canon version is very similar. The legends version just provides us with more specific details. Are there any other characters or events you'd like to see me compare between canon and legends? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.